All right, what's up guys? So we are back here with another one. Uh, this time, I, I try to avoid these. You know, these are really, really popular on Twitter. They take like the Facebook memes, like you know, everybody list your three favorite like colors or something. Or like, everybody tell me what you think about me. These weird questions that get people give interactions. But this one, I, I, I thought about and I gotta, you know, I gotta talk about it. This, this one right here. This guy, Forever King and Mortal Kombat player. He says, I'm kind of curious, what is everyone's most prized accomplishment in the FGC? It can be tournament placements, offline, online, or offline, or anything right there. So, you know, that's a good question. As you see, 936 quote tweets. So everybody, you know, everybody is sharing their thoughts about the FGC. And, you know, I thought about it too. I've been playing fighting games for a very, very long time. My whole life, pretty much. I was going to tournaments. I did all sorts of stuff. Uh, and looking through the results, majority of people are talking about... I won this tournament, or I beat this person, or I did th this kind of thing. So, you know, a, a lot of it was focused on the competitive side. So I thought long and hard about what have I accomplished? What is my 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 favorite moment, my, my proudest thing? I don't want to brag. I don't think I've ever shown this before. But my proudest moment in the FGC of all time is... No, I'm joking. It's not it. You know, like I said, many, many people, many people... <laughs> Everything that's talking about tournaments and tournaments and tournaments and tournaments. And I have won my fair share of tournaments. You know, believe it or not, I've had some big wins, not anything crazy. I, I won I won Evil Melty Blood. I won Evil Melty Blood before it was a official. I won like side game tournaments and stuff. You no, know, it's it's great. I'm not saying that. It's not like oh the wins you know, winning is not important, winning tournaments is not important. But I feel like a lot of people are too focused on that. You know, they, they see this tweet and they see accomplishment and everyone immediately goes to results like damn what have i accomplished who have i beat what have i done but for me without a doubt you know it took me i had to really think about it and think about everything and then you know i came to my answer without a doubt my my greatest accomplishment something i'm very 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 proud of not just ftc but it, it really changed my life this is a private video this is a video ma mainly about me but it's this da -dun. classic young daigo young fudo young art here this one 2016 from 2016 but my my proudest moment Without a doubt, my, my, my greatest accomplishment is not, not this screenshot right here, but it's Beast TV. So Beast TV, Daigo stream, you guys know now, you know, if you're new, you might even forget, but Daigo's like a streamer now, you know? Daigo's just a, a straight up stream, streams every day, streams on multiple platforms, thousands of viewers. You know, he turns on his computer, he knows what he's doing and everything. Uh, but back in the day when Beast TV first happened, it was 2016, with the Street Fighter V, Daigo was still an absolute mystery man. He was kind of like a... Uh, revered like fighting in God, but nobody knew anything about him, you know, because he was a, he was kind of like a private person. And then one day randomly, he streamed. So the very first Beast TV stream had like 15 people on it. It was like Daigo Fudo, uh, like Mago was there, Tokido was there, Eita was there. It was it was a ton of top Japanese players in there. Uh, they were all streaming together, and I watched it. And they had a, uh, I think it was Kichijoji Ken was there. He's a Japanese guy. His English is great. But he was doing the, the translation. And, you know, it was very, very difficult. So he'd have to do Japanese to English translation. And so they were also doing streaming. They had like five people there. And I remember that we saw the first one. And I was like, I could I could do this. I could I could help them out. So, you know, I sent a I sent a DM to the there was like a, a, a tweet by the manager it was like, hey, we're looking for someone to help. I sent a DM and a couple of people vouched for me. And then from the second episode, I was there. So from that moment, I had no experience. I had no experience ever doing any sort of translation or interpretation. I had no experience doing any sort of uh, streaming aside from home. I had to learn how to stream. I had to learn how to use all this crazy stuff. I'm not going to go into, but shout out to Farp. I see Farp in the, in the chat. So Farp, Lewis, the XSplit guys for teaching me how to do that. And like since that, that moment in 2016, I did it from 2016 until 2020. Yeah, I did it until last year. I was even helping out, but there's so many memories through that. You know, this this is one of the first. This is, I think, like only episode like five or something. This is very very early. This is very very early in in the the stream life when Arturo Sanchez came to Japan. He was the number one ranked guy on Street Fighter Five, and he wanted to run the set, so he came and ran the set there. But you know, I streamed. I had this is in the Panga Studio, so I I went to the Panga Studio. I brought our stream set up. Uh, I set everything up. I was freaking out. Of course, I have no idea how to do anything. You see, Art's got the pin mic on. I didn't know how to use a pin mic. We figured it out. What else is there? This is Daigo's doing 
Daigo and, and Crota doing the, the lecture. I just I just grab random pictures. But every week, you know, I'll take a picture. That's me. This is my picture that I took. See, this is the setup. Two cameras. Look at all those cables, man. Look at all those cables. That's my little laptop. So I had no idea what I was doing. I have no clue what I was doing. I, I would message Farp every week. Be like, Farp, it's not working. Help me, Farp. Help me. But I did it somehow, man. This is why we had... Fudo was teaching uh, people how to play. Asuna was... I think she was like eight years old or something. But she beat that guy on the left, Suzuki. She later went on to be... Uh, she became like a child actor or something. I don't even know. Daigo VR... He, Daigo dated the girl. VR Kano Jill. The summer... The summer girlfriend. Daigo Zoom VR. I had to figure out how to stream this stuff too. That's my birthday. I have a birthday cake. Look, they brought me a birthday cake there. So that's my stream set up. So I was at my birthday cake on the stream. I stream on my birthday. So this is like a character tournament I did. This is the second one I actually did. So Daigo now is a streamer. So Daigo knows kind of how to stream. He kind of has an idea of what he's doing. Back in the day, Daigo had no idea about anything like technical wise. He would just say what he wanted to do and they would tell me. It'd be like, hey, he, he wouldn't tell me actually on stream so i would be we'd be doing the stream and i'd be translating stuff and he would say hey i'm doing this next week and i'd be like because i was the one that set that shit up so hey, hey we're doing a karaoke tournament i was like i don't i don't even know like i don't even know how to use a like a regular camera i have to set up a karaoke tournament with the mics i slept in the this is the, from the second one but the first one was at red bull i slept overnight in red bull i was up past last train trying to check everything the audio i have no idea how any of this shit works auxiliary sound like so the sound has to come in it has to play out to the venue but not to the stream otherwise it'd be echo all sorts of crazy stuff i'm freaking out I'm messaging fart middle of the night what do i do what do i do i can't believe it i ended up sleeping at red bull and then in the morning i got woken up to a security guard the cop cop came after me because <laughs> i was basically trespassing i was like no no i'm working I, i'm working i just had to sleep here tonight He's like, let me see your ID. The dude had a baton. I was like, no, 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 no. I, I'm working here. We have an event. Da, 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 da. I was like, here, let me give him my ID. I remember when I, I went to give him my I'll never forget that. I went to give him my ID. And he kind of like, I, clearly, I'm, all I have is an ID. right? I don't. It's not like I'm reaching my bag. I was like, all right, hold on in my ID. I go to give my ID. That guy like, he backed up with the baton. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, relax. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Like, shit like that. But the, the event turned out good. What else is it? Dogra's Wedding? I streamed Dogra's wedding on Beast TV. His actual wedding reception. We streamed this on Beast TV. They're like, hey, we are hey, we need you to stream uh, someone's wedding and translate. Like, all, there's, there's way, 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 way more, dude. This was, uh, yeah, Dai got super drunk. Remember, Dai got super, super drunk. We had, like, the talent competition. We had Ada had a job interview. You remember Ada had a job interview. So what they were doing is they were calling me on Skype. It was, it was wild, but it was like three, yeah, about three years, right? 2016 to 2019 was all the crazy stuff. And then it was about 2019 was when Daigo actually started to learn how to stream at home. So then Daigo would be like, he could stream at home and stuff. But but anyway, I, I, I'm ran. I don't want to go through all the Beast TV highlights. I just want to say without a doubt, that is my, my proudest moment. So that kind of, all these events, you know, I, I literally had no idea what I was doing, but somehow we figured it out week after week after week. All sorts of classic you know, memories there. The, if you look on Daigo's YouTube, all the archives are up there. And it kind of exposed not just Daigo, but, you know, Fudo, a lot of these Japanese players. It kind of connected them to the, you know, the Western world. Like, we found out who these people actually are. We kind of bridged the gap there. And now, not only that, we also taught them about streaming. So all these guys stream now on their own. So more content, more things like that. So without a doubt, that is my proudest moment in the FGC. And the point I wanted to make with this video, instead of not just talking about me, but as I mentioned at the start, you know, there's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your favorite moment being a tournament placing, you know? I won this tournament. Or I was the best player at, you know, my my state or something. I was ranked number seven in, in America. Whatever, you know, competitive aspect. But it's not just that, right? You don't have to... You can be proud about anything in the FGC. This is what I keep kind of talking about is like... The FTC is way bigger than just tournaments, you know? So if, if you feel like you've never done anything, you're like, oh, man, you know, I don't have any accomplishments. Who knows, man? You you ran a tournament. Maybe you started a tournament. Maybe you did an online tournament. Maybe you helped out with a tournament. I don't know. Maybe you're an artist. You made some art people really like. You made a song. You did anything. I don't know. You did a good cosplay people like. I don't know. You can accomplish stuff in the FTC without winning anything. You know, you don't have to feel like, I can't win a tournament. I'll never accomplish anything. I'll never be like worthwhile in the FGC. You, you, you can do way, way, way more stuff than that. I played, like I said, I played in tournaments for a long, long time. I won a lot of tournaments, but 
none of that at the end. Now that it's all like in the past, that's not what I, I'm thinking about. It's not what I'm remembering. It's not what I'm like, I'm so happy I won that tournament. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I got these shorts. Yeah, it's great. I'm the strongest player out of 650 million people in Southeast Asia. That's great. But I'm a lot more proud. You know, I'm a lot more happy of of like this kind of stuff. This kind of stupid stuff right here. That, that's 100% honest. You know, I, I still really, really, it, it changed my life. BCB definitely changed my life. I worked hard too, man. I When I was doing this, I was teaching English full time. Listen, I, I know I'm gonna sound like I know I'm gonna sound like an old man who's lying. I'm not. Listen, I used to live in Yokohama, so I taught English. It took me 90 minutes. This is I'm not exaggerating. 90 minutes to get to the school that I taught. So Yokohama's here. My school is the very very bottom. It's by the ocean in the south, and Tokyo's up here. So I would go to I would do BCV two times a week, two to three times a week. So I would go 90 minutes down to school in the morning, teach. Then after that, I have to go 90 minutes back home and then one hour to Shibuya. So there's what? 90, three hours, four hours, five hours. There were days I spent five hours just on the on the train. So there were weeks I'd do that two to three times. Five hours a day on a train. Thinking about that now? Hell no. Absolutely. I would I would slap you in the face if you're like, hey, we got a job for you. You got to grind. You got to uh, commute five hours a day. I wouldn't even think about that. But back then, you know, that's it was I was so happy to do it. Not riding train, but I was like, damn, this is such a great opportunity, such a great job. And, you know, it paid off. It worked out in the end. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling now. That's just it. A little little history lesson, a little Gina private life talk. But uh if you are watching, if you know, what's your what's your uh proudest moment? This is a good question. You know, I like this one. What is your favorite moment? So leave a comment here. Shout out to Forever King for bringing the good discussion to the FGC. If, if you're not proud of anything yet, what is something you want to do? Maybe what is something that you want to accomplish in the FGC? What is your goals? I don't know. But let me know in the comments. I'll read it. We'll, we'll chat up. And uh, like always, if you're still watching, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.